So this uh, video is basically an attempt to help you understand the, the cases of what are called the ambiguous case or um, of angle side side. Now, again, this is typically uh, not dealt with uh, by most textbooks and teachers, uh, but there are congruence relationships in angle side side. And so as long as you deal with them case by case, um, it's fine. Part of the reason why I introduced this too is that later on when we get to the Law of Signs, another uh, trig relationship, uh, knowing kind of the ambiguous case in these different cases makes that a whole lot easier. So I think it's worth doing. So let me explain what I've got here. First of all, I have my angle of my angle side side. I have my side one and side two. Um, partly why I say that is because uh, when we talk about angle side side or side side angle, um, they come in an order and that, that order um, quite matters. And so it's going to come in an order and then I'm going to call this side one and then side two. So here's my angle. It's been copied and you see my extended rays. So I'm going to create a side one. So I would pull out my compass if I was doing this, construct my circle. And what I've done so far is created um, side one here. Maybe I can just copy this to help me keep track of that. There's my side one length. Now to close my triangle, I'm going to uh, go from here and create exactly that length. So again, I'll construct a circle. That circle guarantees me that length. And this would be the closure of, um, of my triangle. So here would be angle, uh, let's get my other side in there. This is angle side side. Now the question becomes, can I create more than one triangle based off of this? And uh, this is a no answer. This is actually a congruence postulate. It's when you have an angle side one and side two, where side two is longer. When you put in that side two, there's no other way to create that second side. As long as this one's longer than side one, every student, every one will create the exact same angle side side uh, relationship. So where it gets to be a little more interesting is when uh, these have other relationships. So what happens if side two, let's say, let's create our side one here. Here it is. Let's say side two happens to be um, smaller than side one. Now, in this case, you say to yourself, well, it looks like there's only one way to draw it, an angle, a side, and then a side. And I just get one. Now, remember, this length here uh, for, is, I'm using a circle because a circle keeps all the lengths the same, right? Center to uh, point on the circle is a radius. What's interesting is this little guy right here. This has also exactly the length of side two. Let me move this into the corner. Let's see if you can understand it. So here's my angle matching it. Here's my side one to here. And when side two is shorter, an interesting thing happens. I have the chance to hit it once and create uh, this triangle here. Or I actually have the chance to create this obtuse triangle using the exact same angle, side and side. This, of course, is the problem child. This is the ambiguous case because I call it the swinging arm that you can create two different triangles when this side is shorter. Another uh, case is when side two is just too short. It just never makes it. Uh, let me just kind of show you what that looks like. Not that you're, you know, this one's not very interesting at all. Uh, and students wonder, why would you tell me when you can't make make it, actually? Well, if that side two is too short, it just never quite makes it and closes it out. So you got a case where too short makes no answers. The last case is when that, uh, when that guy is exactly, not just, not only... Is it shorter, but it's shorter so that it hits exactly once. Now, if it's shorter and a certain length, we're going to find that it hits once and twice. But if it happens to be just short enough to be the exact distance, 
we do get a right angle. That's one thing we get down here. And we get, um, we do get a congruence here as well. This case is often called HL. Because it has to be a right angle here by striking it exactly once. That's perpendicular. And then it would be hypotenuse and leg. So now that we've looked at it kind of in a, in a sense of a computer program, let me, let's just go to the pen and paper here for a minute and do, uh, do a similar thing. So now kind of going uh, in terms of paper and explaining this, uh, the, there are four different cases of angle side side. And this is why most uh, geometry textbooks avoid this because maybe they feel that in, at the age that geometry is presented, there's too many things going on here. But I, I can't believe that. And the reason I can't believe that is we need to know this to the, do the law of signs. And so um, that's in the curriculum. So we got to get to it. So here we are, um, angle side side, where side one and side two, where side two is greater than side one. This is a congruence relationship. So in other words, this will always produce a congruence. Why? Because I have some line, some angle, all right, so I've got my angle. And then side one happens to be shorter than side two, so side two is a longer length here. Now, if you kind of just watched what I talked about, the reason why you only get one of these is if you tried that swinging arm technique, it actually never would strike back to create a second one. So as long as side two is greater than side one in the angle side side relationship, you always create a congruence. Now, let's look at when it's uh, not longer, but shorter. Now, shorter has a couple of options. First, the easy one, when it's too short. So if we have our angle again, here's our angle of angle side side. We create our side one. Let's say this is our side one. And side two is just too short. It sounds like Goldilocks. And it would swing there, never close. And I know you say, oh, that's a dumb one. But it is kind of a dumb one. But we, when you test cases, you test everything. So this thing would have no answers or um, no congruence. It doesn't even form a triangle. So I'm going to keep moving. The next too short option is when it's just right. Now that's the guy I was just talking about. So here's our angle again. Here's our first side to here. And maybe that next side is just enough to just touch it perfectly. And actually what that would mean is that it's the perpendicular distance to that side. This creates uh, a congruence as well. And this guy actually even gets its own cool name instead of angle side side where side two exactly hits it once or whatever, something like that. They just create their brand new uh, shortcut for it and they call it HL. Now we're used to side angle side or angle side angle, but HL is kind of cool. H stands for you have the hypotenuse. The L stands for you have the leg. And the reason why you don't need an angle or anything in that listing is by using H, you are already saying a hypotenuse, and hypotenuses only exist in right triangles. So HL is one of the congruence postulates that we use as well. Finally, the coolest and most interesting case known as the ambiguous case. The way it works is you have an angle and then you have a side. And the next side is shorter than side one. Not too short, right? That's this guy. Not exactly short, but short enough that something happens. And that something is that it can swing and form another triangle. So that arm, I call it the swinging arm, can close either an angle out here. And so let me kind of draw my two triangles. I might get side one, side two like this. Or the swinging arm may swing in using the same angle. And that side two swings in to create a different angle here, but also uses all of the same ideas. Now remember, if we use the same angle, the same two sides, 
in the same order, but I can create one that's acute and one that's obtuse. This definitely is not a congruence a relationship, but it is um, it is what we call the ambiguous case, the confusing case. This one is a congruence, this one just doesn't make a triangle, and this one is a congruence. These are the cases of angle, side, angle. And so as long as side 2 is greater than side 1, it's congruent. And as long as you have an HL or a 90 degree with a hypotenuse in the leg, angle, side, side, then you also have a congruence.